So let's run the application and see if everything works as expected. And when the application loads, the first thing we see is the sign in in page. We used to see the page for the list. However, that is now available only to authorized users. If I go there, so I'll go to employee manager and then slash list. It redirects me back to the signing in because I have to be signed in in order to view it. Now we don't have any users yet, so I'll create new account. Here is my page, so I'm just gonna create a new user. So here's the information for the user, and we didn't specify any arguments for the password. We simply using the default configuration that identity provides for the password. So if it's too short, it will be rejected. So I use the password that has capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and also a special character. So let's create the user. And the user was created, so we are redirected to the sign in in page. So let's sign in. So I entered the same information. I click sign in. And now I am signed in and I'm redirected to the list where you can see all the employees. And you can see it says here, you are signing as Pavel A, and I can sign out. Let's just do that. And I'm redirected to the sign in page. So let me sign in back. This time I'm going to say, remember me. I'll click that, click sign in. And what that does, let me just close the application and run it again. And you can see I'm still signed in because I clicked the remember me checkbox. So let's just quickly create one employee to make sure that everything still works as expected. And I'm going to leave the country blank just to verify if the errors are going to be still caught correctly. And you can see it is, it says employee country is required. So I'm going to click USA. Let's say add some notes, just test, click save. And employee was added successfully. And you can see I still have the sign out button here because I am still signed in. So let's go back to employee listing and here is my new employee. I'll click update. I'll change the country to UK. This is going to be Pavel 2 for the first name. Click save. Employee updated successfully. I'm still logged in. Back to employee list. And you can see country is now UK and name was changed to Pavel 2. Now let's delete. I'll click delete and the employee was deleted. And once again, I'm still signed in. So I'll sign out and let's create one more account. So I added another user, click create. I'm redirected to sign in page. Let's log in. I click remember me, sign in and I'm back to the list. And now I am signed in as Powell A2. Let me just close this run it again and I should be still signed in as that user. And you can see I am still signed in. All right, so our application works. This was a basic MVC application with CRUD operation as well as basic authentication and authorization. And now we are going to create the same application, but we are going to use Razor Pages and see how it is done with Razor Pages and compare it to the MVC. And this way you will have a good idea which one you prefer, which one to use under which circumstances. So let's start working with Razor Pages next.